I am ready to cook this pike for dinner. We're gonna make a simple, uh, but super delicious, super crunchy breaded pan fried Northern. So this is kind of a staple. And I'm also gonna show you the sauce that I use. Um, I, I've had a lot of different tartar sauces and I like them, but I make like a garlic uh, lemon sauce that is way better than any tartar sauce that I've had. So I'll show you how to make that also. There's four things you want to do to really get the best fillets that you can. Number one, bleed them. Number two, ice them. Number three, keep them clean. And number four, I like to rinse them and dry them. So that's what we're going to do next is rinse these fillets and then I'm going to pat them dry really good. Some guys say don't put fresh water on them. I always rinse them. I like to get all the slime and guts off. If you leave them in water, it's not good for them. But if you dry them, it's no problem to rinse them. To get started, we got to make our breading. So we're going to use smashed up cornflakes, crusties, buttermilk pancake batter, 50-50, and then a couple tablespoons of Old Bay seasoning. There's a couple little tricks to it, but it's pretty simple. And then we're just going to fry it in 375 to 400 degree canola oil. I like canola oil because it can get a little bit hotter without smoking the vegetable oil. So that's what we're going to be using. And just putting that in a 14 inch frying pan. Um, with high sides on it and just pan frying it. So let's get started. Let's make our breading now and get these things breaded up and in the fryer. All right, what we're gonna do to uh, mash up these corn flakes is we're just gonna put them in this bag and we're gonna smash them with our hands and get them into nice small pieces. There, right now we got those corn flakes all smashed up in there. I used about two cups of corn flakes, roughly. I'm just uh, guessing on that but it's pretty close to two cups i'm just going to take my crusty's pancake buttermilk pancake batter and i'm going to pour in what looks to be about the same amount so about 50 50 and then old bay seasoning i'm going to use about two two uh, tablespoons so here's my measurement there's one tablespoon two tablespoons as you can see very precise it doesn't really matter this is just breading it doesn't have to be perfect and we're gonna shake it up in that bag. Voila. Now I like to put it in a tray now, it makes it easier to bread the toys. Next, we're gonna crack two eggs and whisk them up in this bowl. That's gonna help the breading stick to the fish. Okay, so at this point, we're ready to bread the fish. We've got the egg, we've got the breading, and we've got the fish all dry, but before I do that, I'm gonna put my oil in because I want this nice and hot by the time I'm ready to throw these fillets in. So I'm gonna pour the oil into the pan and I'm gonna get it <clears throat> about a quarter inch deep in the pan. I don't want it too, too thin that it's gonna dry out when the fillets go in, but I also don't want it covering the fillets. So about a quarter inch, we're gonna turn that to high, throw our thermometer in there and get it to about 375, 400 degrees. In the meantime, we're gonna get this fish breaded up. All right, so we're just going to take this piece by piece, and it is a little bit more time consuming to do it this way, but you get a much better breaded fillet. I'm going to lay that in the egg, drain it off a little bit, and then I'm going to physically drop it in the breading. I'm going to cover it and kind of press the breading down, and then flip it, do the same thing, and then pull it out and kind of shake it off. And you can see it covers that fillet really well, much better than if you just threw it in a bag and, and kind of shook it around. Just keep dipping, shaking, covering, pressing, both sides, done. So we'll get these all breaded up and by then our oil should be nice and hot and we can start frying them up. 375, perfect. Another way you can tell is if you got a little water in your hands, you can flick it in there. If it pops, they're about right. So now we're just going to take these fillets, lay them in one by one. You don't want to hurry too much because uh, you don't want to cool the oil down too fast. So I tend to kind of just slowly lay them in and let the oil catch up a little bit. And I usually try and do similar thickness fillets at first um, on the first batch so they get done roughly the same time. Just fill that pan up. You don't want to overfill it, but you can, you can pretty much cover most of the space in there. And then we're going to be flipping these in a little bit once one side gets done. 
All right, let's see how these are looking. Oh yeah, golden brown. Start flipping them over here. Oh, those are looking perfect. That nice golden brown color is exactly what we're looking for. And of course I staggered them as I put them in, so I'm gonna have to stagger them as I flip them as well. So these ones over here aren't quite as done yet. So I'm just giving them a little more time. Oh, those are looking good. And it just depends on the, the thickness of the fillets, how long you wanna have them on each side. But usually I would say two to three minutes per side is about right for your average pike chunks like this. If you got some bigger ones, you may wanna go a little bit longer, you know, four minutes on each side. But it seems like three is about perfect. All right, these are about done. It's been about six minutes total, three on each side. We're gonna take these out one by one, kind of drain the oil off and set them on this plate here with a paper towel on it, just to kind of soak up the oil. Another critical step in this process is salting the fillets as soon as they come out. So they do have some seasoning on them, but I like to salt just a nice dash of salt over the top of those fillets to help soak up that oil and just give them a nice pop when you when you bite into them. So that's one, one trick that makes these things taste really, really good. All right, now I'm gonna make the dipping sauce and this is just three ingredients, mayo, lemon juice, and garlic. All right, so this is really simple. We're gonna take one cup of mayonnaise, one tablespoon of minced garlic, and one teaspoon of lemon juice. Mix that up really good. And that's all there is to it. So there you have nice crunchy Northern Pike fillets and it doesn't get much simpler than that. Those corn flakes give it a really good crunch when you bite into it and that pancake batter gives it a little bit of sweetness um, and the salt kind of offsets that and it's really, really delicious, super easy. So we'll catch the Northern Pike and get hooked up. We'll see you next time.